Hello everyone, it's Kim. I just have a little short video to show you how I gather up just some things that I can use in my junk journals. This does not cost you maybe a penny to do this if you get these papers for free. It's simple. I keep a little box. It's my words to live by. It's just words that I randomly find in junk mail and things that come in the mail. It can be letters, magazines, these cheapy papers, you know, sale papers that come in the mail. Let me show you a couple of things that I found just in the, an ad for the pharmacy. Okay? Very simple, very quick. And you know what? You can cut them out. If you don't use them, it's no big deal. You throw them away later. I thought this was cute, okay? I could have one that just says Easter on it. If I do a layout for Easter time... I would have this cute little paper here. Now you can use regular scissors. I've got some of those scissors that cut like a oh, pinking shears. You could fussy cut it. This one I thought would be cute to highlight the ears a little bit. Like that. Okay. It's not a big deal. Then what I do, because there's, they can be kind of flimsy, I just find a cute piece of paper, something I think would look cute. Um, maybe this one I want to do something special and make it really pop. So I'll take that, take my glue stick. Uh-oh, looks like my glue's getting low. Put some glue on it. And I stick it down to the paper. I can, you can either, if you don't want to, you know, take them all apart, maybe you want to put them in a, a binder instead of a little box. You could just fill up your whole little sheet and stick it in somewhere. Me, I'm going to take this, these little, I don't know what they're called, scissors. Yeah, mini pinking shears. I can cut it out in a cute shape. Not good at going that direction, so let's see if I can try to keep it somewhat even. There you go. It only takes a few seconds. This is something you could do sitting watching TV, you know, all kinds of stuff. So there you go. Now, if I do a layout for Easter, I automatically have a cute little Easter word there for me. I even take this is a. Uh, Farm and home. It's it's a place to buy supplies for my animals. But I don't have to keep it like that. I have three words here. I have the word farm because I own a farm. So you know what? I'm going to do a layout of my little farm. So I can cut that word out. Just like that. You know, this ad comes a lot in the in the mail, so, you know, I don't have to do this every week. I get a few of them, and then if I look through it, I scan through it. If there's any new words that I think are interesting, I can cut them out. Now I have farm. I could do family. We all do layouts with family, right? We journal about our family. We talk about our family. You know, you can have a cute little cutout that says family on it. Maybe with the family, I want to do this on, uh, here, I like this, this is a different color green, makes it kind of pop. So I could take that, use my little piece of a glue stick there, stick it down, and there you go. You could cut them out as fancy as you want. You cut them out as simple as you want. And it's just fun, you know, when you're when you're putting a journal together, you don't want to have to stop and say, oh, now I need to go find a word. Yeah, you can go to your printer and print them out, but you know what? I don't even have printer ink right now, so it's not something I can do. Now I have two more words I can cut out and add to my little box there. On this, I think I'm going to leave it big. I might find 
Maybe, oh, here, let's see. Go back to the farm book. Oh, uh, let's see. I raise chickens and turkeys. Let's see if they have any chickens or turkey. Here we go. Here's a bunch of baby chicks. I'm gonna, I swear I'm going to get that sticky all over myself. I'm going to take these cute little chicks, and I might add them to that, the corner of that there. Cut one or two out. Of course, I'm going to do this a lot cuter. But maybe I'm going to add those cute little chick. I like that, I like that brown one there. Let's go. I like the brown one. He kind of stands out a little bit. So we're going to give him a little bit of a cut around. You know, I'm not going to fussy cut up close. I mean, I'm not, you know, I could. But I don't necessarily have to go and cut out every tiny detail. It looks just as cute. I mean, it's made to be a junk journal, right? For a true junk journal, I like to do just cute little things like that. So, that's my little chicken. Put a little glue on them. Now I can stick them down. There you go. Now, if I do a page about my farm, I've got a cute little title for it. I could, I could round my corners, I could do whatever. And I just sit here in the evening, don't have much to do, and I just find words. And you'll be surprised. You will find them in the weirdest places once you start looking for them. So every time I get a little paper that comes in, I make a little pile. Here's a cute little bunny. Isn't that, wouldn't that be cute for that Easter layout? You fussy cut this little bunny with the rabbit. And even if you don't want to do them now, you could take them like this and throw them in your box. I just prefer to stick them down on something because some of them are pretty, pretty small. When I do my farm layout, this says barn cat. Louie, our barn cat, is a very important part of my farm. He's a fantastic animal. He goes and gets, I mean, we have rodents here are really minimal because this guy will bring me two or three little, you know, presents a day if they're out here. So anyway, what I do is I just take the papers as they come in. And some things might not have a lot, but you know what? If you make those faux postage stamps, you can use numbers from papers like this. It's really nice. You can pick out whatever denomination you want to put on your little faux stamp. You can cut out the number nine. You can cut out big numbers. You can cut out tiny numbers. It works really nice for cutting out those type of things from, you know, to make the faux postage stamps. And then I just do a quick glance to see if there's anything in here that I think might work. Here we go. I could cut this out right here. Great big one. It depends on how big I want this. I can even use the entire word that says our family. I could cut that out and put it on something. I can just use the word family. And then when I'm done with that one, I just flip through the next one. Not everything has things, but I do like these. Now see how, look at you made a tiny little faux postage stamp. I could make it worth $2. I could make it, just put the 9 I can use tiny little ones like that, which I do, because some of my little postage stamps are only about a half inch square. So I might cut out that tiny little 2 or that tiny little 9 um, you know, or a 3 or something like that. All right, so now we have out here, I like this right here. I'm going to cut this out, celebration. If I do a, a birthday late, you know, birthday page, or, you know, uh, maybe I go to a big party, a wedding, anything like that, you can use words like celebration. Um, okay, that's probably all I have on that side. Once again, I have celebration here. Probably, well, it depends on what size. I would probably pick this size. But if I look through it, I know I can cut both of them out. If I'm careful, I can get both of those words celebration cut out of here. For me, I would probably, for the farm, I'll use the word livestock. Because, you know, you keep livestock on your farm. I could put... Um, I could even put things like hay and straw, and I could do a cute little 
uh, layout where my goats are climbing up on the hay and the straw, and I could put that across there. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you an idea how easy it is just to find cute little things. Make yourself a little box at night. Sit there, rip out words, cut them out, stick them on paper, whatever you think will work for you. And you'll be surprised how you start looking at things different. And you're like, oh, hey, that would be kind of cool for a layout. The word spring. Spring is good. I could do definitely do something with spring in it. You could use that with, you know, all kinds of stuff. For the farm, I could use this picture with the cow and the calf. And then I just take the paper and I recycle it. So I get, you know, this is one of those ones that come free every week in the mail. So I don't have to worry about it. I just take it when I'm done cutting it open and I throw it in my recycle. You could also cut out word, uh, phrases you could make. Like, I don't know, let's see. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You can you can make you can make phrases out of here. You can find funny little phrases that that you know um, you could glue words together like the old ransom notes if you want. I think that'd be kind of fun to do one on. Um, this is a little comes from my electric company once a month. Lots of things in here that can be cut out. I like that right there. If I was doing something about Michigan, that's a cool little um, one right there. See. It's got some color to it, but, you know, it's the shape of Michigan. That would be cute for something. Happenings. The word happenings. You could put that on a family page. You could put family happenings on the page together. That'd be really, that'd be really cute. Ah, winter. You could, you could just take the word road tripping and say if you're going on vacation and you're going across country you could you could put that on the on a uh, traveler's notebook you could put the word road tripping or even winter road tripping if you're doing it in the winter if you're in Michigan and you're winter road tripping that's perfect for the cover so anyway I just wanted to you know even some pictures this is a gorgeous picture they're talking about uh, Marquette up in the UP that would be a really pretty picture to put on something. You could even take out some of the people if you want. Make that on a little, um, maybe a little tag that goes sideways into a book or into a page, a pocket, whatever. So I just wanted to encourage you to kind of look at your junk mail a little bit different. And see what you can get that's not going to cost you anything. It costed me that little bit of glue that's about to be gone anyway to stick it down to another piece of paper and I'm sure I'm going to go through this of course much much better but you know I'll just keep looking for some words and when it's done it goes right into the recycle box so anyway I just wanted to give you a quick little hint on some ways that you can get completely free things to put down in your journals. Now this one, I'm going to cut this one out. It says little one because I have a new granddaughter coming and I'm going to be making her a little booklet. So I'm just going to cut out the word little one and I'm going to stick it on a piece of paper and I'm going to stick it in there in my little box. And when I make a page for her, I can use that in her what's going to be her journal and let's see I like this here I could put it on a bigger piece this is a piece of texture it's got like little hearts on it I know it's for a girl but who cares I don't I don't get into this if it's predominantly a little girl page I could slip in something or I could actually punch out a little heart and put it on there but for right now, I'm just going to stick it on because I like I like the little hearts in the background. Oops, and I only have the one. So 
I'm just going to stick it down on there and then I can cut around it, leave some hearts around it. And now I have a word or a phrase, if you want to say that, for my little layout there. I got a little, got a little extra bit there I want to trim off. There. All right, there you go. I'll trim that up a little bit better, but now I have a cute little sentiment I could put on her, a page for in her little um, journal as well. So anyway, I just wanted to give you one little quick tip. Um, check your papers. You'll be surprised. Take your scrap, oh, the other thing, I just grab all, all my scrap papers and I start, it's a good way to use up some of your little scrap papers. This is, if you don't think about it, if you look at envelopes that come in, some of these have really neat designs in them. And you could, you could easily use those for, uh, you could cut circles out of them, you could cut shapes out of them, you could put the words on them. If you have a big enough envelope, I have a couple that I'm going to be using soon. The entire envelope on the inside, I'm talking a big like 9 by, you know, it holds a full sheet of paper without folding it. That has a really cool design on the inside in a, in a black and white design. I've never seen it before. And of all places, it came from the AARP trying to sell me life insurance. But I look at the inside of those envelopes, and I could use that as almost like a designer paper for a background. That one is nice enough. I am going to use it as a background. But there you go. Now, if you don't have any fancy paper, now you can make your words on something that will really make it pop. Lucky. There you go. Anyway, I keep my little box as I get, you know, if I get bored or I'm watching TV or whatever, I can either start ripping out words or cutting them out and putting them in. I have a couple little boxes around here. Some of them I sort out. Like if I have pictures of um, small animals, I have one that says all the little things. For example, this here. I'm going to be doing some a artist ATC cards. And look at that cute little bird. I could fussy cut him out and put him on an ATC. I think it'd be really cute, especially if somebody likes birds. I could do a couple little birds on the card. You know, those ATC cards are only about that big. So you want something small like that on there. So I look for little birds and things like that. But all right, I keep saying it. Quick tip. I don't want to drag this on. Watch all your papers for words, small photos, pictures, anything that you can just... Fussy cut, put in a little box, envelope, whatever. Save them. You'll never know when they'll come in handy. So have a great day, everybody.